Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500. I'll cover web analysis with Elliot to a theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one kind over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on very low time frame again, trying to figure out what we have um, as the counts from these lows around the 13th of October. Before that, let's check out the higher time frame uh, uh, counts that we have. And um, the idea here is that we had a three-way structure here into these lows of June. Then we had a three-way structure here, which is a separate from here. So what, what I mean by that is that this structure is complete. And then from whatever we have from these lows over here from June is starting a new structure. Now there is two different possibilities for that. Again, this could be a structure on its own, connecting this structure to the next one here. Or we could be having this structure part of whatever we have here, creating something like this, creating a bit larger of a correction, connecting this previous leg to the next again. And that is that. Those are the two higher time frame possibilities. Uh, we've covered these before, so probably the weekend uh, update had had uh, some structures and some um, counts for these structures, so I'm not going to go too detail into those. So today we're just focusing on this more local count. And uh, the way I've been labeling this is this one, in which we had this as a uh, WXY, uh, within the way where one we had this as an ABC, see where we had a fireway structure like so, and then we would be looking for this A wave. This definitely felt like a fireway structure, however, we did not have this divergence here. That that is a bit suspicious. So there is a couple of different variations of this, um, which I'm going to go show you uh, here in next bit. But before that, again, let's cover this first. So this, in any case, it would give us a wave A down here. We have already taken out the highs that we had for the wave A. So the, we know that this is not a fireway structure that is starting something. So instead, it has to be something else. And again, I really can't uh, place anything from here at the moment as we took out the highs uh, as a three-way structure here. So maybe we have to be labeling it like that if we want to have a three-way structure. In any case, it doesn't look good. Um, on RSI, if we are starting a count from here, so basically these highs, we would be looking at this as a three-way structure. So that would be the first three-way three -way structure. Another three-way structure being the uh, basically the uh, uh, correction for the for this one. On 30 minute, we can see that better. So that is here. It is correcting this structure over here and then creating another three-way structure downwards to finish that structure, so over here. So overall, we would have this as a three-way, 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 creating a WXY. That I'm going to show you on the next or next count as well. But after we have created this possible A-wave here, um, I managed to squeeze in some kind of a diagonal here. It is very ugly, I must admit, but that is the only way I can actually fit this five-way move here. Um, and I do think that is a fireway move because just again, based on the impulsive count or impulsive structures it has. Um, it is possibly finished now. Um, we did take some liquidity that we had here. We did not really uh, get a good wick here uh, for any kind of stop losses. Um, but, but again, there is definitely a possibility that this is done. Uh, the main targets for this ABC is again, uh, just beyond the way one to one extension all the way to the 1.618 so anything between here and then we would be looking for that uh, short downwards to that wave c i'm already short here uh on this b wave or oh, sorry sorry from the top here uh for the start of that c wave and uh, looking to take profits uh around the wave a um a lows here so that would be uh, 3700 dollars uh, on the at least the futures charts. We'll see how this turns out, if it turns out at all <laughs> good or not. We'll, again, we don't know. Um, but again, this is just one possibility. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's check out the other count here that we had. And in this one, again, um, the basis again was something that we have been discussing before, where we would be ending the wave Y in here. Um, also, Dan uh, stopped by on Discord again, um, Dan Dow Trading, shout out again, 
I don't have his account here, but um, stop by on the Discord again, sharing his account on on the S and P five hundred. Um, again, he he had it this as a um, expanded flat here. Again, I do have the issue of trying to figure out all all the minor structures in here inside here as well. So to me, this looks like a three way structure, like he had it, but this structure is his B wave and. To me, I, I just can't get that working. Um, so instead of that, um, we are in the end getting into the same position here, creating this as some kind of expanded structure. On my case, it is a WXY, but in his case, it was a expanded uh, flat, uh, getting into that way Y, getting to uh, pretty good extension targets around the 1.382 and 1.618 between those two. Again, not perfect, but again, targetable. Uh, and then again, we would be having another structure upwards. Um, the question about this count is, uh, how are we going to be labeling the, uh, the degrees on this? So again, that is going to be, uh, the question here for quite some time that we won't get an answer, uh, before this whole thing, uh, shows us more, more of the structures itself. Right? So one of the options is the way I've labeled this as a first structure here, second structure already complete, and now we would be getting a third structure. Now we have not hit the uh, 0.618 extension of this structure here. So that way we can know that, okay, it is not probable that this is the last structure. So either this is the first structure that we are going to, getting, going to be getting in this last one before um, completing this whole thing, or we have not completed the middle structure here. So if we are still thinking that this is done here into these highs, this would be the first structure here. This would be the second structure. And now as we have taken out the highs here, we would be creating a expanded structure here, A, B, and then C wave. Again, targeting the lows of this current wave Y here. And at that point, again, we would be shifting our, this base channel here, over here, and be targeting uh, another three-way structure upwards. So in the end, we would be having something like this. And of course, at that point, we would be targeting a bit different, uh, different things, uh, depending on where and how, how low we get here. But that is, again, another idea. Um, and we'll, we'll see which one of these is going to be playing out. But at the moment, I do think that we are going to be rejecting around this area. Um, especially, well, I, if, if we go beyond the 1.618 here, we can see that we have some kind of order block here. Let's see if it is an hourly order block actually. Yeah, it is. So if we are going to be on, going to be beyond the 4k area, then there is a lot of, uh, fair value gap here, uh, all the way from 4,050 to all the way to 4,000 and uh, 4,150, sorry. So that like a uh, hundred dollar area here that is most likely going to be filled. And at that point, again, this, this is something else for sure. Um, but yeah, for now, um, I do think that we are pivoting downwards and we'll see what kind of structure on the higher time frame we we are going to be getting later on. But I think that is pretty much everything I want to share at this very moment for S&P 500. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.